There had been a big storm on the island of Sodor. Trees were down and fences had been blown over. Kelly and Isabella had been clearing fallen trees since the crack of dawn. Ned and Max were helping remove a landslide. Nelson and Oliver were on their way to clear Henry's tunnel. The fat controller sent Thomas to take his friends to the football ground. We must leave immediately, said Miss Jenny. The car park is covered with fallen trees. Tomorrow is the big game, said Thomas. We'll have to move the trees today, clattered Jack. You can rely on us, Steam Buster. I'm sorry, Buster, said Miss Jenny kindly, but this is a job for lifters, pushers and haulers. Buster was sad. Buster watched as everyone left. Everyone's got a job but me, he said. Thomas knew his friend Buster was unhappy. Nobody likes to be left out. At the football ground, everyone was working very hard, clearing up the fallen trees. Thomas could see there was lots to do, but nothing for his friend Buster. Buster was upset. It's not fair, he puffed. I want to help too. The work had gone very well. They were almost finished when Isabella arrived with the new goalposts. Then Miss Jenny went on to the pitch. Oh my goodness, she cried. Mole hills. Miss Jenny would need Buster after all. Thomas returned to the yards as fast as he could. Buster, I've come to take you to the football ground, he chuffed cheerfully. Miss Jenny needs you urgently. Buster was so excited he thought his boiler would burst. Yippee! He was very happy. There was nothing better than being needed urgently. Soon they arrived at the football ground. After Buster was unloaded, he was amazed by what he saw. Mole Hills, he cried excitedly. Hundreds of them. It looks like a giant currant bun. Only green. This was the moment he had been waiting for. Buster clanked and sputtered and flattened and smoothed. Even the moles were impressed. He's good. Very good. His smoke was blowing, his steam was white and feathery. In no time at all, the football pitch was flat again. Well done, said the coach. The game can start right on time, said Isabella. Everyone congratulated Buster, but Miss Jenny gave him the nicest praise of all. She told him simply that he'd been really useful. Buster was proud. And all the way home, Thomas could see that Buster was happy. It's a grand thing to be really useful.